Uh, hello everybody, this is Shopin. So guys, in this video, we will talk about API Gateway. And in the API Gateway, we will basically create HTTP API, right? So let's get started. So the very first thing, you have to go into your AWS Management Console. Over there, you have to search API Gateway. So once you go over there, you will see over here, there are lots of HTTP API created. So I'll create a new one. So for that, you need to click on this create API button. So there are lots of options over here. So currently in this video, I will cover the only HTTP API gateway. And uh, this is basically to integrate uh, your HTTP API to our further downstream. It might be Lambda, it might be HTTP backend, right? So in this, we have only two options as of now. The first one is to import from the open spec file. So if you have an open API spec file, you can put it over here. Based on that, it will create a route. Otherwise, you can, if you don't have that, then you can create by clicking on build. So uh, here you, you can see you have to specify the name of the HTTP API. So I'm saying this is a demo one. And over here, you can see this is the integration, right? So if you want to add some integration, you can click it over here. So it will ask, it will give two options. One is for Lambda, one is for HTTP. So if you will select something over here, based on that, you need to specify the details, right? So currently I'm not uh, selecting anything. So I'll just need to click review and create. So once you click and create, review and create, it will give you to this screen and ask you whether this is fine or not because I'm just creating the demo one and no integration is configured as of now. And there is no route configured. Right? And the state is, stages is default, auto deploy would be enabled. So I'm just click on create over here. So within few seconds, it will create it successfully. So if you want to see where it is, you just need to click on API over here. And here you can see this is your demo one HTTP API. So, so far so good. So once you click on that, you will see over here, this is the invoke URL. You can, you can use this invoke URL as of now, but it will not return anything to you because you have not specified any routes as of now, right? So the another thing which we have to do is we have to click on routes. So in currently we don't have any routes, so we will configure one dummy routes over here. So for that you need to click on create. Here you have to select which type of route you want. I am saying I want a get route. I'll specify that in dummy. I'll say this is the data. The URL is something you can specify any URL as per your requirement. So for the dummy point of view, uh, dummy purpose, I'm just putting a data over here. You just need to click on create. So once you create it, it will ask you for the integration, right? So I'm, if I click on this get, it will give me two options. One is for the authorization. I want any authorization or not on this route. So as of now, I am not using any authorization, but for the authorization, I will create another video for, uh, for this Lambda authorizer, right? So I'll put an integration over here. So based on that, uh, I'll configure it. So if I click on this, you will see we don't have an integration. I just need to click create and attach an integration, right? So here, I scroll down, you will see there are lots of options for Lambda, HTTP, URM. There are various options to integrate it. So currently I have configured it using HTTP URI. So over here, you need to specify the downstream URI which you want to invoke when somebody calls your gateway endpoint, right? So as of now, I have created a dummy endpoint using this website. So if I hit it, it will return me an hello. So I'll put the same URI over here. So if I'm saying this is for any call, if I specify this URL, it will return me hello. Just click on create. So you can see over here, you know, uh, my integration is created successfully and this is the endpoint downstream endpoint which we will call and the timeout would be this limit and uh, request parameter and the request mapping is not configured as of now, right? If you want to modify it, you can click on manage integration. And if you want to deattach de the integration, you can click on this, right? So I want to test this, how we can do that, right? So based for that, you need to click on API demo. Here you have this URL, just, you know, go with this URL. It will return the same method not found, but you have to specify the you know, route, whatever you have mentioned over there. So if I have mentioned data over there. So here you can see if I put it, so it will return me hello, right? 
so based on that uh, you will be able to call your http downstream http endpoints right so this is something a very basic program for api gateway and in the further section i will in, in the further video i'll basically create that authorization so that uh, my my http gateway request would be authorized and once it is authorized then it will call the downstream api or downstream http endpoints otherwise it will give me 401 so i hope this video is uh, helpful for you if you like my work please subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video